what's up freaks this is steve says episode number 116 116 this week we're gonna be talking about perfection how close are you to perfect are you perfect are you near you're near the edge of perfection we're gonna talk about perfection and as you know each week here on steve says this is not always maybe what you want to hear but this is certainly the shit that you need to hear you might not want to hear it but you need to freaking hear it. we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second Steve says the live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles, preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. That's what we're doing out here. We're always focusing on the mind, the body, and the business, so you can have a role model mindset, talking about how to operate to dominate in your discipline, your energy, your confidence, your action taking, your risk taking. And being your freak fucking self. So we're going to talk about perfection here today. And it's going to be real, just real quick and dirty getting into it. And because I get a lot of questions about this, about people striving for perfection and all this other stuff. So what's up from the from the Squire program? What's going on? Freak shows. So we're talking about perfection here today. And the first thing to do when it comes to perfection is to realize, and I have you on several different screens here, so we're looking around down here, here. We have five different screens, so try and answer your questions, jump in the conversation if you want to. We're talking about perfection, being fucking perfect. And the first thing about perfection is obviously you know probably what I'm going to say is that perfection doesn't fucking exist. It just doesn't exist. So the first thing to think of is is realize that it's never going to fucking happen. You're never going to attain perfection. So stop waiting. All that perfection tendency does is leads it just leads to your downfall. That's all it does. It it becomes your downfall. Because perfection trying to be perfect, trying to have everything right and everything the, the, the right way, perfection just leads to procrastination. It leads to waiting and stalling and at least fucking disappointment is really what it leads to and it leads to not getting anything done at least a lack of taking action the real the real pros the the, the highest level highest performers high, highest achievers you know what they do they fuck up a lot shit doesn't go their way just as much as it doesn't go your way but you know what they're able to do call a freaking audible the difference between an amateur and a pro is an amateur is able to call an audible. When you get when they get kicked in the freaking nuts, they're able to call an audible. Think of a quarterback on the line and he's calling out a running play and he sees the defense against him is set up to stuff the running play. He's got to call that audible on the fly. If he thinks it's perfect because, oh, we had this plan, we need to stick to the plan. If he thinks it's perfect and he's just going to go for perfection because he thinks the game plan is perfect and he runs that running play, he's just going to get that shit stuffed down his throat. He needs to make an, call an audible. He needs to change shit up on the fly that's what this is about like and maybe he's one that called the play and realized shit they read his play so realizing this realizing you're not going to be perfect shit's never going to be perfect the first thing that you have to do is subdue your fucking ego that's what the first step to overcoming perfectionism is is subduing your ego because that's all trying to get perfection is it's it's an excuse and it's an ego and it's even an emotion Removing those three E's right there, remove your excuses, remove your ego, remove your emotions from the situation, because that's all going after perfection is. So you need to subdue your freaking ego, realize shit's not going to be perfect, realize you're going to fuck it up, realize life is going to kick you in the nuts, that things are going to go sideways, and go into every situation, every encounter, every task, everything you do, no matter how much you freaking planned, go into it open freaking minded, go into it with a white belt mentality. Meaning a white belt as in you're always learning. No matter how much experience you have, no matter how much the expert you are, no matter how much planning you put into place, go into each encounter with a white belt mentality. And if you know where a white belt comes from, where the belts in, in martial arts comes from, the reason why a white belt, that's, that's a fresh, a brand new, crispy, clean belt. But as, as, as martial artists got more experience, their belt got a little dirtier. Yellow. That's why yellow. You see yellow and blue and purple, and brown, and if their belt was black, that means it was so fucking dirty because it had so much experience, that's why it was a black belt. But the way that they get there 
was to always have that same white belt mentality, always learning, dedicating to a lifelong of learning. That's how you overcome perfectionism. And really accepting that shit's going to go wrong. Expecting shit's going to go wrong. And embrace that shit's going to go wrong. If you're always ready for it. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your fucking A game. If you're always prepared, you never have to get prepared. If you're always fucking ready, you never have to get ready. These are all the ways to overcome the perfectionism. Perfectionism is just going to lead to hesitation and procrastination. That's really what it's going to lead to. And... You could say, oh, I'm not ready, it's not finished, it's not right, it's not good enough. Listen, it ain't never going to be fucking good enough. You will never be ready. People use that that as an excuse not to get married or have a kid or start a business or whatever. Quit their job and go and become an entrepreneur route. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Motherfucker, you ain't never going to be ready. And if you wait till you're ready, if you wait till shit is perfect, guess what? You're going to die an unhappy, unfulfilled, probably broke, average, mediocre motherfucker. That's what's going to happen. Waiting for perfection. Waiting for everything to be just right. Waiting to, oh, I got to get my ducks in a row. And I, and I have these conversations with men almost on a daily basis when they're talking about joining the project. Oh, I just have to wait for this to happen. And then I have to wait for this to happen. And then I have to wait for this to happen. And then I'm going to come and join the project. I mean, I'm all fucked up in all these different areas. I need to make it happen. But I need to do A, B, and C first. Basically, excuse out my fucking ass. That's what those are. Those are excuses. Perfectionism is an excuse. Perfectionism is letting your ego take over. Perfectionism is a stalling tactic. Because you're afraid to lose. Afraid to fail. Afraid for your plan to to get screwed up and get fucked up. So if you don't. If you don't go forward with it and you just keep planning, you can still say, oh, I'm so busy. I'm so fucking busy. I'm busy, busy, busy. But you don't ever get shit done because you never jump in. You never jump into the freaking arena. You never jump into the trenches and get some, some dirt under your damn fingernails because it's not perfect. Shit is never going to be perfect. You need to get dirty. You need to get slimy. You need to get sometimes get, get take a beating. That's what it's all about because you're too afraid to fuck up. You're too afraid to break things or make a mess. Guess what? To be successful, to get to that next level, you need to break shit. Get used to breaking shit. Get used to breaking shit. Get used to making a mess. Break things. Fail. And that's the things you're afraid of, so you aren't jumping in. Break shit. That's what you have to do. You have to break shit to figure them out, to learn how they work, to know what not to do next time. To get better at shit, you have to break shit. Breaking shit makes you better. I like that. I'm going to write that shit down. It just popped in my head right now. But you need to break shit. Break shit. I've broken all kinds of shit in my life. And we're talking about breaking shit physically and breaking shit figuratively and literally. Like, sometimes you literally have to break shit. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. If you saw my calendar, you'd see from the minute I wake up to the minute I go to sleep, every minute is accounted for. Like, it is structured. It is disciplined. We're talking personal and professional. It is fucking locked on laser beam focus. It is structure. It is disciplined. It's fucking freedom knowing that everything's accounted for. And people say, wow, that's, that's, I wish I could have a, a calendar like that. But guess what? And, and then they don't do it because it's too overwhelming or they're afraid they're not going to stick to it or they're afraid they're not going to keep their promises to themselves. So you could see perfectionism goes a lot deeper than just thinking, oh, I want it to be right. I want it to be perfect. No, no, no. It goes a lot fucking deeper than that. You know you're not going to keep promises yourself. You know you're not going to wake up. You're not going to stick to those time blocks so you don't create the time blocks at all. Because if you don't create them and you don't take action on them, you can't fail them. You can't fuck it up. You can't break it. So you could just keep saying, I'm working. I'm working. I'm busy. My calendar, I'll say out of my time blocks and whatever, maybe 80%, 80, 85% I stick to. That's fucking a shitload, a lot better than fucking 0%, I'll tell you that. And I try to stick to 100%, but it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Things happen throughout the day. You reprioritize shit, you move shit. Uh, you, you have to make a, a phone call. Something goes over time, whatever it is. You stick to it as strict as possible as you can, but shit's never going to be perfect. And accept that. Take control of your fucking life and realize it's not going to be perfect. You're waiting for it to be perfect. You're going to die a miserable fuck. That's what's going to happen. So it's not going to be perfect in, in your calendar, in your scheduling of your time blocks. My calendar looks perfect. It is fucking clean. It's color-coded and all this stuff. Guess what? There's some days it's an absolute fucking mess. There's some days I can't even get to some of the things I want to get to. And it has to be put in a parking lot for tomorrow, for the next day, for later in the week. I don't get everything done that I wanted to get done every day. We talk about productivity and all this other stuff. Shit ain't perfect. 
I miss shit sometimes. There's days when I, I, I can't read. It's a rare occasion when I don't read in a day. But it sh- this shit happens when, when things get in your fucking way. It's just the way it is. It's never going to be freaking perfect. It's never going to be perfect. People don't... And you need to anticipate the kicks in the nuts that life's going to give you. The, uni- the, the universal bitch slap is that you're going to... Bitch slaps that you're going to receive throughout the day. Anticipate the struggle. Anticipate the suffering, the hardship. Anticipate it. Be ready for it. Embrace it. Fucking charge straight forward. Search for it. Go anti-fucking perfectionism. Look for shit. Look to break some more stuff. Because that's how you get better. That's how you grow. That's how you build it back fucking stronger. Think of a broken bone when it heals back. That bone is just locked in together tight. Make yourself unbreakable by breaking shit. Anticipate that struggle. Turn that suffering into a superpower. That's how you do it. Break shit to get better. Because perfectionism, you know what it ultimately leads to is disappointment. It makes you just get disappointed because you're never going to attain this perfection. And let's just say you did attain perfection in something, in anything, whatever. It was just perfect. You considered it fucking perfect. Guess what? It's still going to lead to fucking disappointment because you're not going to be perfect every fucking time. So now the next time you go after it and it's not perfect and it's only at 99% instead of your little 100% perfect, you're going to be all fucking disappointed and you're going to be down in the dumps and, and bitching and moaning and all this other stuff. It's, it's never going to be, you're never going to be at your best. You're never going to be at perfect because guess what? You'll never be at your best or you'll never be at your best ever. You might be your best up to that point, but the best is always yet to come. If you have that white belt mentality, that that always learning mentality, you're going to be getting better every day. So how could you ever reach that perfection? It doesn't exist. It's out there because whatever I do today, I'm expecting to get, I'm going to get better at it tomorrow and better at it the next day. And you can say, when's it going to be enough? When's it going to be enough? Fucking never. You could be always satisfied and never satisfied at the same time. To me, learning, having the discipline to ride that line in between always satisfied and fucking never satisfied, to me, that is the closest to perfection that you can get. That's the closest to fulfillment that you can get. Always satisfied and never satisfied. So you're satisfied, you appreciate what you have, you're grateful for what you have, but you're always fucking hungry for more. That's the discipline. That's the muscle you need to build to, to, to ride that line. And if you realize you're never going to reach perfection, guess what? You will never feel disappointment. You'll never have a bad day. It's because when you think you, you plan all this stuff, you think it's going to be perfect. And I know we say, all right, we don't want any plan B. It's just, this is all I do. We're burning the boats and all these other motivational things. All right, that's true. But even if you burn the boats, I'm still going to make a plan B, C, D, all the way to motherfucking Z. I'm going to have backup plans, contingency plans. If this, then that. If this happens, then I'll do this. If that happens, I'll do that. If this happens, I'll be here. Contingency plans. Because you know it's not going to be perfect. If you just think it's going to be perfect, you will be disappointed. And you won't have the resilience to bounce back and get back on track. And you'll just fucking crumble. If you're expected to be perfect, you'll break shit and you'll crumble and fail. And you'll be stuck as a failure. And you won't be able to bounce back. Because you thought that you're not going to get that, that punch in the face. Mike Tyson or whoever they said it. There's debates on who actually said it. Says everyone has a plan until they get punched in the fucking face. That's basically sums it up about perfection and how perfection is not going to happen. It's just not attainable. It's just uh, go on the attack. Do your motherfucking best with the shit you have with good morals and ethics and values and fucking go after it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And accept that. Recognize that and accept that and fucking embrace that. And you'll be a thousand times more successful than if you're just thinking you need to be perfect or trying to be perfect. And then when you think about it, if you let's, I want to even break it down to even a deeper level, the way that I think about perfection. Like, let's say everything was perfect in my day. To me, that'd be fucking boring. If everything was fucking perfect, like if you got to your level of perfection, I guarantee you would be fucking miserable. Because now what do you have to strive for? What do you have to strive for? Perfection is fucking easy. Perfection is boring. Perfection is average. Perfection, perfection is fucking depressing. Think about it. If it's just perfect, nothing challenging, nothing pushing you, pressuring you to make you grow, to get better, to get stronger, because it's just, everything's just smooth sailing. I don't want motherfucking smooth sailing. I want to be challenged. I want to be pushed. I want to be pressured. Because if 
Your per- perfection to me is stagnation. It's crazy when you think about it that way. Makes you never want to be perfect. Makes you want to fuck shit up. Makes you want to break some damn bones. Fuck some things up. Fail on some things. Make a damn mess of some shit. That's how you get better. That's how you get stronger. That's how you get more knowledge, more wisdom. Perfection is fucking stupid to me. Perfection is mediocre, average, boring, not where I want to fucking be. Perfection is stagnation. Perfection is depressing. I want to be fucking shit up on a regular basis. I want to be doing so much, fucking up so much that it's constantly getting better. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I also hate the thing, oh, fail a lot, fail often, fail fast. Sure, you want to do those things, but I also would like to fuck. I'd rather win than fail, obviously, but not being afraid to fail is what perfectionism. You're too afraid to fail, so you don't even jump out of the motherfucking plane because you're afraid your chute ain't going to open. You don't start that damn business. You don't have that tough conversation. Like, do the uncomfortable shit. Do the hard shit. Do the imperfect shit. The imperfect action. That's going to lead to... I forget there's a saying in one of these books. I was just reading one of these military books. I forget what it was. Uh, I think it was... Might have been Jim Mattis, Matisse, whatever it is. Maybe in that book. I'm not sure. No, I think it was an older one, actually. It was violent action now is better than perfect action later or something like that. You get the point. Imperfect, violent fucking action right now is going to make you fucking win a whole shitload more than waiting for shit to be perfect or near perfect or better or where you're ready or... I hate the fucking saying. I heard it today. That's why That's why I came up with this. I heard this this morning and I came up with this this topic of perfection is that on this project call, someone's I have to get my ducks in a row. You don't have no motherfucking ducks. The fuck does that mean? If you're waiting to get your fucking ducks in a row to go unfuck yourself, to go make some money, to go be a better husband, a better father, a better leader, a better fucking man, you might as well just go bash your head against a damn wall. Your ducks in a row? What the fuck does that even mean? I got to get my ducks in a row. Fucking ducks. That's ridiculous. So the point is, you're never going to be perfect. Stop striving perfection. Go fuck some shit up. Take some, make some bold moves. Take some big risks. Because you have the confidence in your ability to figure shit out, to get back on track. To me, that's what emotional discipline is not getting too high and too low. But emotional resiliency is when you get too high or too low. Emotional resiliency is to be able to come back to center, to recenter yourself, to bounce back, to recover. Recover ability. Bounce back ability. That's what emotional resilience is. That's really what not being afraid of not being perfect is having that resilience. You build this stuff up. These are fucking superpowers. That's what not being afraid of not being perfect is all about. Perfection, looking for perfection is just going to lead to disappointment and failure and misery. So go fuck shit up. And of course, only do this with subduing your ego, going in open-minded, having a white belt mentality not being a fucking know-it-all. This is how you get over perfectionism. Stop being a fucking know-it-all. Stop thinking you have to have an answer for everything. Stop thinking you have to one-up someone and always have a better story. Always have something to say. You know what I can't stand is, and, and this is just extra on top of what we were talking about. You'll do a post or something, or you'll tell someone something, or you'll just bring up a story and someone will comment on your story or add on to your conversation Oh, I was just about to say that. What the fuck is the point of someone saying, I was just about to say that? Oh, I was just about to say that. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. Shut up, motherfucker. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. If you were, you would have freaking said it. Or if not, why did you not? Why did you procrastinate? Probably because you're waiting for it to be perfect. You were afraid you might look stupid if you said it. But then when I said it, oh, I was just going to say that. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. Oh, I was just telling my friend about that the other day. Oh, I just had a dream about that the other day. Motherfucker, whatever. Whatever. Any dream or thought or knowledge or wisdom or thing you were about to say or thing you were thinking that you don't put out into the universe because you're too afraid it might not be perfect and people might think you're stupid and you might look fucking dumb or it might no one might like what you have to say or agree with you have to say. Anything, any knowledge, even smart ass knowledge, wisdom, a book you read, things you learn at a seminar. If you keep it in your head, you're just holding all that information, all that knowledge, all that you're holding it fucking hostage. That's what you're doing. If you're not putting it back out in the universe, don't say, oh, I was about to say that. Oh, I was just thinking the same thing. Shut up. No, you weren't. 
And if you were and you didn't say it, shame on you. And what a fucking waste you are of that knowledge and information you have in your head. Because you're waiting for the time to be perfect. You're hoping that people won't make fun of you. That you won't get canceled. That this other bullshit. That you won't offend anyone. Fuck that. Break shit. Subdue your ego. Go an open-minded. White belt mentality. Make shit happen. Push yourself. Pressure yourself. That's the opposite. Don't be boring, average, mediocre, perfectionist always waiting and hesitating and procrastinating and fucking miserable. Go and take the the actions that you need to take. The things you're thinking, go and fucking do them. Put that shit out back into the universe. Go teach it to someone else. Go talk about it. Go do it. Go experiment. Take, Take some big freaking risks. Go start that business. Go jump out of that fucking plane. Go do whatever the hell you're feeling is the right thing to of course if you're think if you're doing things the right way and you're and you're always trying to do the right thing with morals and ethics and values of course that's what we're talking about but we're just going to finish off what i said before perfection is boring perfection is easy perfection is mediocre it's average it's fucking stagnation it's depressing and it's going to just keep you locked in place it's going to keep you right here you think waiting for perfection is going to make you skyrocket guess what perfection is going to be right here it's going to be maintenance perfection perfectionism is maintenance and maintenance is fucking death you'll die fucking miserable so go be an imperfect motherfucker listen i have my phd in being imperfect i have my phd in breaking shit and fucking shit up and failing and being a fuck up and it always seems to work out if you go in there with a a, a subduing your ego open-minded and turn the suffering into a superpower make it happen enough babbling about this perfection stop trying to be a perfect motherfucker Make shit happen. Go jump out of the damn plane. Figure it out on the way down. F-I-O. Figure it out. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. And if you need some help with stuff like this, like these daily disciplines, check the links down below, somewhere around this video, for the Freak Mode 40. That's the Freak Mode 40. It's a daily discipline habit challenge to help you out with these perfectionism that you're looking for, to just help you have control of your day. It's 40 days, 40 nights of daily disciplines in your mind, your body, your business, as well as yourself and your social life. This is the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. Check it out. It will change your life and snap you out of that perfectionism and just make you go and take action. It'll make you take imperfect action. There's a lot of challenges in this Freak Mode 40 that are not going to be perfect. There's some things you're going to have to do that are a little fucking weird. Once you're committing to this program, the Freak Mode 40, And once you commit to it, you need to fucking do it. And I'll tell you what, a lot of them are not going to be perfect. A lot of these habits and disciplines are not going to be perfect. You are going to break some stuff. You are going to screw some stuff up. That's what it's all about. It's how you get better. It's how you get stronger. That's how you become more satisfied. That's how you have work-life synergy. That's how you have a little more fulfillment and have a little more fucking happiness. Yes, I am a happy motherfucker. So check out the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. And again, in case no one told you today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.